Hello and welcome Fisher with another BMS video. In this video I'm going to look at the HMCS alignment and calibration in 4.36. And we're going to do this by doing the alignment on the ground, the course alignment on the ground, and the fine-tuned alignment in the air, and then we're going to uh, mark a target using the HMCS, and we're going to slave that target to the TGP just to show the alignment process or to do a quick check of the alignment process. So the first thing we must do is switch on the HMCS using the HMCS knob and I've got it connected to some HOTAS functions and we can see it's switched on. And the way you know it's out of alignment is if you move your view across the hood you can see that the by default it should be um, blanked across the hood here, but it's not. And if I move it to the right here, you see it's actually blanked somewhere off the hood. And then if I move right again, you see it's come back on. So it's blanking in the wrong place. So that tells you that it's out of alignment. So we're going to course align it now by hitting the list, M select and RCL buttons in sequence on the ICP. Followed by the sequence button. And we can see we have three options, course, azimuth and roll. And we're going to hit the M select button once again, and we can see the symbology on the screen. So what have we got? We've got to align the two crosses. And I'm using open track here, so I've got a pause button here. So what I'll do is I'll align them as closely as I can, and then pause. And that's pretty good for me. So once that's done, what I've got to do is click the cursor enable button on my HOTAS and my alignment failed because I moved, I was actually zoomed in too much, so I'm going to try that again ok that looks good enough so aligning now and I haven't moved anything so the alignment is good so I can leave that now and press return to go back to normal navigation mode so now we're going to take off and we're going to do the alignment in the air and then we're going to do a calibration check using the TGP. Okay, we're back in the pit here and we're in the air and we're going to calibrate or do the fine adjustment of the HMCS. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch to the HMCS page in the ICP by list, M select and RCL once again. And this time I'm going to unblank the hood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align these two, two in position. crosses between the HMCS and the hood. And then I'm going to pause. And I'm using open track, so I'm going to pause. Pause track IR that way. And now I'm going to press the sequence button to take me on to the uh, alignment page or the calibration page. And I'm going to roll down to the azimuth and I'm going to hit the M select button to take us into that mode. And we can see actually, we actually have a pretty decent alignment from the ground. So I'm going to just move that in place. Looks pretty good. And then I'm going to press the... We'll stick around a little bit and I'll press the M select button. And then press the sequence again to move on to the roll. Uh, sorry, not the sequence, it should be M select. And now we can see the roll actually looks pretty good, but I'm going to just demonstrate it to show how it should be aligned. So that's pretty decent. M select again, and we're good. And now we're going to on pause, and we're going to pick a target. Actually, there's a, there's a, a set of buildings over here. So we're going to pick a target here now and align them. So I'm going to go to air to ground mode. I'm going to switch our TGP on. And I'm going to go to mark mode. I'm going to DMS up to select our HUD center of interest. You can see the little um, star symbol there. And then I'm going to cycle their mark mode to get us the HUD. Okay, and then I'm going to hit TMS up long 
to get us our um, our symbol for marking. And we have a few buildings down here, so I'm going to try and focus in on one of these and see how accurate we can be. I'm going to get this large building here and try to hold it steady with my head. No, that's not good enough. Okay, it's not quite on the base of the building, but it's it's good enough. And I'm going to TMS up again to make it a mark point. M select and enter to make that mark point the current s steer point. We have it as 26 there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slew our cursor away. And then I'm going to reset to CZ. And we can see... Well, it's not quite on the building. Um, with a bit of additional information, it would be easy for to have whoever's received that information to um, to accurately fine tune into it. So that's pretty much in terms of the alignment of the of the HMCS. And just before I leave the video, I'm going to switch back to mask over the hood by clicking the ICP. HFCS page again and click on the M select button and we're back to the way we want it. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful and feel free to like, dislike, subscribe, comment and until the next time, fish out.